Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a web-based password vault with KeePass Web. To begin, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll install the Apache 2 web server using the apt install command. Next we'll use wget to download the latest release of KeePass Web from GitHub. Then extract the downloaded zip file to the web root and rename the extracted folder to KeePass. Next, we'll create a new folder in the web root called webdav and set the owner to the www data group. And also set the owner of the new keypass folder to the www data group. Then we'll create a new Apache site configuration file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the site configuration from the video description, then save your changes and close the editor. Now we'll edit the keypass web index.html file in nano. Search the file for kw-config and set the content value to config.json. Save the changes and close out of nano. Next we'll create a config.json file and edit it in nano. Copy the configuration from the video description, then save the changes to config.json and close out of nano. We'll enable the KeePass Apache site configuration, as well as the required Apache modules. Then restart the Apache 2 service for the changes to take effect. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash KeePass. When prompted, log in with a valid Linux user account. Click the plus icon to create a new KeePass database. I'll create a new entry in my blank KeePass database. Then click the lock icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Enter and confirm a master password for the KeePass database. Then further down enter a file name. Click the save to button towards the top of the screen, then select file. Save the KeePass database to your home directory. Back in the terminal, we'll move our saved KeePass database to the webdev folder in the web root. Back in the web browser, if we navigate back to the KeePass website, we can now see our KeePass database listed on the main page. Click the database to select it, then enter the master password and press enter. We now have a web-based interface we can use to interact with our KeePass database. 